Okay, we have a uh, Hitachi Travel Star 60 gig hard drive that uh, came in for recovery. Uh, drives clicking. Uh, in most cases, this is the heads that are bad. Uh, we've already gone through and verified that that is indeed the case. So we're going to swap the heads uh, from a perfectly good working parts drive that's also the same model. Uh, we typically have to match up the model number on Hitachi drives. Uh, that's the primary uh, um, parameter that we go through and try to ma match on these drives. We also try to get it fairly close to the same manufacturing date. Um, really when you're swapping hard parts in these drives, the model number is the main thing you're looking at on, on these particular drives. Some of them get much more detailed than that. They have different head maps, things like that. So, But these are fairly straightforward. So we're going to go through and start by disassembling this drive and taking the heads out. Okay, this is a two platter uh, drive, so there's actually two hard disk platters in here, and there are four heads. It's almost like a mini record player in here. And the heads, the heads are right here, and it's like the needle on a record player. This is like two records stacked on top of each other. So you have a head for the top, a head for the bottom of the first platter, a head for the top, and a head for the bottom of the second platter. So these are fairly tricky. Uh, you gotta make sure that the heads don't touch for one thing whenever you go through and remove them and then reinstall them. So we'll go ahead and continue with the disassembly. If you hear the rushing sound of air in the background, and it's actually the filter air that's coming through our clean room here. Uh, it's a class 100 area, so um, it's not going to be to scientific standards as far as class 100. We're not working with DNA here or anything like that. We want to just keep the internal components of the drive as clean as possible. And the air that's coming through here is much, much cleaner than what we have outside of this area. You have to be extremely careful when removing components inside of these drives. so I'm not as careful with them as I will be with the other new set. Okay, and we have the heads removed. And like I said, these are the, the bad set here. And we'll go ahead and set all this to the side for right now. All right, now we're done with the first drive. We've, we've removed the heads from the original drive and it's ready to receive the new heads now. So what we have to do is basically repeat the process with the parts drive. Um, we were careful with the first drive, uh, the original one that's damaged, but we really want to be careful with this one because this is what's going to make or break our recovery. You know, we have a couple more of these, but we definitely don't like going through these any more than we have to. A lot of times we can reuse these components on another recovery if we need to. And that's one thing our company doesn't do is we do not charge for parts. Um, some companies may charge you for recovery plus uh, they go through and recover, you know, may charge you for labor, they may charge you for uh, whatever parts that are needed. And these parts aren't cheap. You know, you, a lot of times you may see hard drives like this on eBay and stuff like that and think, oh, well, this is an easy business to get into. I can get a hard drive for $30. Um, 
some sometimes that's the case but when you get in the, some of the bigger drives or, or drives where you really have to find the specific match and I mean some of these get really detailed um, then you have to go to a supplier a lot of times if you don't have what you need in stock um, and you can sometimes spend as much as uh, anywhere from two to four hundred dollars for a parts drive pretty easy repeat the process. head in place. Get these heads out. Okay. Now we have our new set of heads ready to go. I'll take this magnet out. And now we start the installation of the replacement heads. into its slot there go through and reset the case cover I'm not going to put all the screws in on this particular type of drive you don't even it's not really necessary on these drives some of them it is um, but in this particular case though, this will be all we need to do just to go through and test the drive and see if we can go through and start imaging. Okay, we have our drive hooked up to our imaging station. Um, we've already swapped the heads out. Uh, we're now going to start the imaging process. Uh, we'll start by going through and powering up the drive, making sure there's no issues there. Uh, drive powered up normally. Uh, we'll go through and see if it detects, which it does. That's a good sign. That means our heads are at least working to the point where it allows the drive to calibrate. Uh, we can go through now and start attempting to image the drive. And as the configuration data loads onto the destination, it looks like uh, the drive is imaging. So that is a successful head swap. Uh, now we'll go through and complete this process and then we will be able to go through and recover the data from here forward. Uh, if you've lost data or if you've had any issues uh, with a drive that's failed, uh, you can reach us at www.acsdata.com or you can call our offices at 1-800-717-8974 and we'll be happy to help you.